Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Now let us try to see how we can handle the errors that we actually generate when we try to get our APIs. So there are a lot of the or there are different kind of the errors that we will receive from the APIs or our, from our backend server. So let's try to uh, see how we can handle each of them. First of all, we'll see that what will happen if we try to send a wrong route. So let's say if this route doesn't exist in the server and we'll try to send this particular request, you will get this particular error that you cannot find that particular get request. Because that we don't have that particular uh, route set up in our server with this particular endpoint that we have set up over here. So let's go back to our server and if you open the status code, and for that we would like to send the not found over here that is what we are getting 404 not found so let us try to handle that particular error and that will be in our app.js over here and if you go to this uh, particular uh, route that we have this is the one route and it's going to find that particular route from the top to bottom so if there is no route exist for that particular uh, this tax a then it's going to give us that particular error which is that it cannot get that particular route so what we need to do is we need to add one more route that will handle that if none of the uh, route exists we want to send out some of the uh, errors over here so let's go and let's have the app dot the uh, we can use the all that means for it will be for all of our um, the APIs, right? We can have a gate, we can have a post, we can have a put, delete, right? So for that, we will make use of the app.all. It means that all of this particular HTTP uh, request that we are sending, whether it's a gate, a post, path, put, delete. So it doesn't matter which one you are trying to send over here. And uh, here we will try to send some of the messages over here. This asterisk basically means that you are, are referring to all of the uh, route API endpoint over here. So it may be of this, it may be of this one, any of the, um, of it doesn't matter which one you are sending over here. It basically means asterisk means basically everything, right? If all of the other route that it doesn't exist on top of this one and uh, here we are getting the request and then the response over here and once we have the request response we'll try to return the rest of the status over here and the status that i mentioned previously which is of the not found which is of the 404 that we have defined over here which is of the 404 and then we'll just send the status as the fail and then we'll just send the message can't find that particular request that the original url will give us the url that we are actually sending over here and it will, it will say that uh, we can't find that particular url on this particular server so this is a simple message that we are going to send over here and we are going to send in in the json format over here so that should be good enough for us um, and let's try to go and send this one and you'll see that now we uh, we get a better looking error message over here previously it was just giving us the html code over there but now we can see we got the json response which is of the status as well as the message and this is our the uh, the endpoint or the api url that we are trying to access over there 
So let's go to uh, over here. And what will happen if we try to copy this one? Or let's try to move this one on top of uh, here. And if we try to go and send that particular uh, request over here, even if it is the correct URL that we have, we'll try to send this one. We are trying to, we are going to get that particular error message because this particular, uh, the API, or this is actually a middleware in the uh, ExpressJS over here. So this is a, a, a middleware that we are trying to uh, connect on the top so as you are connecting to the api or uh, it will run from the top to bottom so it's going entering from top to the bottom so it's go by step by step so in the uh, synchronous order right so it's going to uh, check for this one check for this one check for this one and uh, if it doesn't exist then we are going to get that particular uh, error but here what we are doing is we are saying for everything so all of the routes that it doesn't matter which one you are trying to connect for all of these particular routes just go and send this particular uh, message or the response back to the uh, the client side over there so uh, you need to make sure where you put this particular code it need to be at the end so you need to put this particular code at the end of all of the route don't put it in the middle somewhere or on the top otherwise you will get an error that every route that you are trying to connect will return that particular error message because that is the middleware that is going to run at the uh, specific location that you have placed over there if you put in here so if below this one and if you're trying to call this particular and uh, api endpoint then you will get that particular error because it is of uh, your delete api it runs before uh, below this particular all so th this takes the uh, precedent over this one so that's why it's going to run this particular code over there so make sure you put it in the correct place for for us it is the uh, correct place for now because we don't have any of the uh, other endpoint or the api route over here so i guess that's all for this lesson and we learn how we can uh, handle the 404 uh, route not uh, or the url not found error over here and we'll meet up in the next one till then have a great day now let us see how we can create the error handling middleware and uh, don't worry about the middleware uh, we haven't talked about it and we have a separate section for that um, the middleware over here but for now just remember that all of these are actually a uh, middleware in express so once we create all of those these are actually the middleware that we have already created in the express so similarly we are going to create a one more middleware over here that will be of the error uh, handling middleware so for that i'll just go and make use of the app dot and then the, i have to use app that use and here we need we can provide the error uh, request response and then the next so once you provide the error over here the express is going to know that this is an error handling middleware over here basically we don't provide the uh, the error so if you go back to our tax controller we only have the uh, request response over here we didn't provide the error in the front over here but once you provide that the uh, error over here uh, we are going to actually say that this is also some kind of the error so the express will know that this is of the error handling the uh, middleware over here and once we have that we can just go and say that the error that we have dot the status that we can get is from the uh, let's say uh, error dot the status or it should be of the uh, status code over here so that will be of the status error dot the status code so we want to provide the status code over here and that is coming from the error over here so error dot the status so whatever error we are passing it should contain the status and otherwise if, if it doesn't contain any of the status it's going to make use of the internal server error uh, that is of the 500 so internal server error is of the 500 over here and once we have this uh, error dot the status code once we assign a, a value to this particular error that the status code we can also uh, assign the error then that will be of the status so let's just go and status will be of the uh, error that we have dot the status as well over here 
and sorry this will be of the status sorry not of the status this will be of the status code and this will be of the status over here and if that doesn't exist then we are just going to say that is of the type each of the error over here and finally we can just go and uh, return from here so res right at the response dot the status uh, that we can provide over here status will be of the uh, error dot the status code right so we can provide the status code that is of the either the uh, 400 401 or something different status code that you provide otherwise it's going to make use of the 500 status code over here and then we'll go and return the json format over here that will be of the status will be of the error that status and then the message will be of the error that the message so similarly that we have the status and then the message that we are returning from here all right so we will just return that particular response back to the the client the status code uh, either it's just a fail or if you pro if you provide the fail over here then that's fine otherwise it's going to make use of the error as a default one and uh, here you're providing the status uh, as the not found so we are going to grab that particular status code over here otherwise we are going to make use of the internal server error so once we have this particular uh, error uh, middleware over here error uh, middleware er error handler or the uh, we will call this one as a middleware over here and uh, so once we have this setup so we need to make use over here so once we cannot find that particular route over here this was the previously we created and uh, once we have that we can actually now send the request back to our to the next the um, the middleware that we have over here and for that what we'll do is we'll just go and create over here so let's say const of the error and that will be of the uh, new error so we'll create a new error object over here and uh, we'll just uh, copy this one and pass it over here so this is of the error that we have new object of the error that we have created and once we have that we are going to set the uh, error that the status code will be of the not found right so this is the error status code that we are sending so we can't find that particular route so this is for the route that we, we can't find and then we also have the uh, error dot the uh, the status that we want to send over here so that will be of the fail so now we can just go and comment this particular code and now uh, we have this particular setup and now how do we pass it to the uh, next over here that is of the the app that they use so this is the middleware so how we can call the next middleware from here and that will be of the we have to make use of one more step which is of the next so we can also get the uh, next from here and now we can make use of that particular next over here right so let's just go and call the uh, next over here and once we call this particular next uh, we are saying that go to the next middleware so from this this is the uh, middleware as i told you previously the middleware is uh, this particular function are executed sequentially over here so it's going to come from the top to the bottom so now once we mention the next it will look for the next middleware over here right and that is currently this is the next one that is going to execute but let's say you have some more over here in the middle and now you mention that the next and then you pass in the error so that is the error that you have created over here and you pass in the error once you pass in the error it will know that this is an error and it's not just a norm normal uh, next request to go to the next middleware once you pass in the error over here it's going to directly go to our uh, error handling uh, middleware over here so since this is our error handling middleware over here it will directly go to this particular error handling middleware even if you have some more um, the um, the middleware over here it's not going to execute that one and it's direct it will directly go to this particular one because this is the error handling middleware that we have created since we are, have the error over here and express will know that this is the error handling middleware and once you call the next dot the next and then pass in the error in the constructor then it's going to uh, go and call this particular function even if you have the 
some middle rate in the middle so i hope you got the point over here and now uh, once we have done all of this uh, we are good to go so let's go and test that one let's try to send some request and we got the request and now if i try to send something that doesn't exist in our server so let's just go and send that one uh, you'll see that they fail and can't find that particular right and 404, 404 not found that is what we are sending it from here and calling the next error um, the handling middleware over here so since this is an error and it will go and execute this particular uh, middleware over here and i guess uh, that's all for this lesson uh, it may be quite difficult to understand at the beginning but once you practice it uh, you can grab this particular knowledge over here so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one Till then, uh, have a great day.